Greetings my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about another popular oscillator that is momentum or rate of change. Momentum or rate of change is a very popular oscillator which measures the rate of change of the current price as compared to the price of a certain number of days or weeks back. Momentum is simply the difference and the rate of change is a ratio expressed in percentage. So the momentum can be calculated by using this equation that is close minus close end periods ago. That means current closing price minus old closing price. Okay. Suppose the current closing price of a company's share is rupees 12 and the price 12 days back ago was rupees 10. Then we can calculate momentum by applying this equation that is current closing price minus old closing price here the current closing price is 12 and the old closing price is 10 so 12 minus 10 that's equal to 2 is the momentum here okay if the momentum is positive or a crossing up through zero may be used as a signal to buy or a crossing down through zero as a signal to sell Okay, and the next one is rate of change. The equation for calculating rate of change is equal to current price divided by price n periods ago minus 1 as it is a ratio expressed in percentage. And in general, prices are rising as long as the rate of change remains positive and conversely, prices are falling when the rate of change is negative okay so let's have a look upon how to calculate a 12 days rate of change okay here in this column date is expressed and in this column price is mentioned price means we can understand current closing price as well as old closing price from this column okay in 14th May 2010, the current closing price is 10,620.16. Okay, you can see this yellow figure. And in this day, the closing price before 12 days back is the old closing price. It is the closing price before 12 days in 14th May 2010 is 11,045.27. So here the ratio can be calculated by using the equation 10,620.16 divided by 11,045.27 minus 1 into 100. Okay, then we will get ROC as minus 3.85 in 14th May. Okay, likewise we can calculate 17th May's 12 days ROC that is rate of change by applying 10625.83 divided by 11167.32 minus 1 into 100. That's equal to minus 4.85. That is the second day's rate of change. That is 17th May's rate of change. Likewise, we can calculate all rate of change. In 25th May, it, is, it can be calculated by applying 10,043.75 divided by 10,380.43 minus 1 into 100. That's equal to minus 3.24. Okay, now let's plot these figures in a graph and we can understand how can we decide what, what, what is to decide whether to buy or sell our share. Okay, if it is positive, it indicates a signal to buy. That means if it crosses the zero line below that if it goes below the zero line going negative, it indicates a 
cell signal okay this part this is a roc 